Hi guys, let me show you this uh, simple demonstration here. I have an Arduino board and a potentiometer. Never mind these ICs here, they are not being used for the moment. So, uh, if you can see here in the screen, we have also a task manager, a command prompt, some notepads, and a, this browser. So, let me ask you to observe the potentiometer values uh, shown in the browser. So as I operate with this potentiometer here, let me rotate this, the uh, potentiometer values shown in the browser will respond accordingly. So this is what I've been working with. It's about um, not just interfacing uh, electronics or electrical devices to uh, the PC, but also serving them to the web using uh, novel technologies that are available for everyone to use. So by rotating this uh, potentiometer we are actually controlling an online content. So we are having hardware here, simple hardware, uh, something that you can easily uh, do on your own and you can control online content here. So uh, let's open multiple browsers just to uh, prove my point here. Let's open uh, Internet Explorer and let's go to uh, localhost here let's uh, bring this down let's paste it now we are we're seeing turn on internet settings internet, uh, are you sure turn on internet uh, yes I don't know what that is but let's just turn that on so here we go wait we're seeing here um, Internet Explorer is already receiving input so let me rotate this again you can see both browsers are responding so uh, again let's try it with uh, inter uh, no Firefox we have Firefox here I'm quite sure let me try that one okay we are having Firefox up and running here you can see here let me rotate it while it's loading while Firefox is loading so there Firefox is angry so let me paste localhost here there we go it's up let's minimize this so that it, it doesn't take too much space so here we go you can see someone just disconnected let's just uh, see what happens here so uh, yeah there they go they're all responding so as I said the offline con uh, no the uh, static content are being provided by HTTPD and the asynchronous content by Node.js taken from the uh, Arduino Mega which is being powered by a potentiometer which is our sensor here input sensor so this ends my presentation and thank you for watching